Hey everyone, this is Brandon's Movie Corner, and it's time for a VHS, DVD, and CD update for November 25th, 2019. I have one VHS, one DVD, and one CD to show. Which of you saw my community tab post from last week? I ordered a VHS and a CD from eBay, and they both came in today. And I also got a DVD at Dollar Tree, so... Without further ado, let's begin, and we're going to start with the VHS. And this is the 1992 VHS of Rocket Gibraltar. This is a 1988 movie starring Burt Lancaster and a young Macaulay Culkin in his feature film debut. And this tape was resealed when I got it, but it was used. Susan Granger of WMCA Radio called Rocket Gibraltar a total 10. Not since on Golden Pond has there been such a loving film. Yeah, mainly decided to get this because this was the first movie to star Macaulay Culkin. And I did see the trailer for this movie on YouTube and it does look pretty good, so I'm going to have to give this a watch at some point. Rated PG, approximately 100 minutes. And on the sides here... It's got the FSC stock number. And yes, this tape is indeed an Avon copy, which I was not expecting this because on the eBay listing, it just showed the front and the back of the um, slip case. But there's the tape with the sticker label. Print date is July 5th, 1997. And says AVN, so this is indeed an Avon copy. So, yeah, that's the VHS I got from eBay today. Now for the DVD, which I got at Dollar Tree. And this movie I'd never even heard of until I came across it, but it's the 2005 DVD of A Dirty Shame, the neuter version. This is a 2004 movie with Tracy Ullman, Johnny Knoxville, Selma Blair, and Chris Isaac. And this was written and directed by John Waters. Threatening the very limits of common decency, rated R. It's a scandalous comedy from the dirty mind of John Waters. This is a Fine Line Features movie, which was a division of New Line. Rated R for pervasive, strong, crude sexual content, including fetishes. Running time, approximately 88 minutes. Here's the disc, and it comes with this ad for the um, original, original motion picture soundtrack, and an ad for John Waters' Christmas album. And there's the um, select the scene, and on the back, that for other John Waters movies on DVD, which I also do have the original 1988 version of Hairspray on DVD. Which I still have yet to see, but I do also have the 2007 remake of Hairspray on DVD, which that one I have seen, and it is a good movie. But I'm going to have to watch the original 1988 version sometime. So that's the DVD. And finally, the CD, which I got from eBay today, along with the VHS. And that is Home Alone Christmas. And this features um, various songs from the first two Home Alone movies. And this CD is from 1993. And if any of you want to read the song list, you can just pause the video. Home Alone and Home Alone 2 Lost New York written and produced by John Hughes, directed by Chris Columbus. There's the um, CD. And here's the song list again. So I'm going to have to give this CD a listen pretty soon. And of course I do have both Home Alone and Home Alone 2 Lost New York on DVD. Both of them being the 1999 DVD releases. Even though the discs are apparently 2000 reprints because they say 2000 discs themselves. 
That's going to do it for this VHS DVD and CD update for November 25th, 2019. And as some of you may know, this Thursday is Thanksgiving. And of course, Friday is Black Friday. And even though I'm not going to be going to any stores on Black Friday because of crowds and also because I'm working that day, I actually am considering doing some Black Friday shopping online this year. So if I do end up ordering anything from any online Black Friday sales, I'll let you all know in my community tab. But until then, thank you for watching. This is Brands Movie Corner signing off and hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving this year.